An explicit letter between a disgraced principal and a school secretary reads, the things you say and do just make me love you all the more. And that's just a portion of the letter that cost the Depew principal his job. New at 6, the school turns over evidence of sexual affairs and missing money to News 4's Lou Raguse. Tonight, he has the exclusive investigation of a story that took months to uncover, Lou. Well, Jackie and Don, Robert Pachalski was fired this week, 13 months after he was placed on paid leave. He's accused of stealing field trip money from the kids, bullying children and staff, and carrying on an inappropriate relationship with two secretaries. Between 2009 and 2011, phone records pulled by the Depew Union Free School District show Cayuga Heights Elementary Principal Robert Pachulski spent a lot of time during school hours talking to two secretaries, 295 hours to be exact. That's 12 whole days in that two-year span, talking to these married women by phone from his office, an empty classroom, and a storage closet. The district classified the calls as misuse of school equipment. After Pachulski was placed on paid leave, district workers say they found in his office letters and cards from the two women they say clearly indicates a personal and or sexual relationship. One woman wrote in a letter, It would have been a good day for a hotel. You gone from school early and no specific time to be home. I need a boyfriend. I'm willing to give everything here up. The other woman wrote in a card, I wish things were different as we were the ones coming home to each other. There isn't one day that I don't think about how things could be. You make me so happy all the time. The things you say and do just make me love you all the more. Other parts of emails were too sexually explicit for us to report here. In his response to the Board of Education, Pachulski said he's happily married and was actually helping one of the women's daughters with her homework even though the daughter would have been in school at the time. The district told the board, even if his ridiculous explanation is to be believed, it is simply an admission he was ignoring his duties as principal of Cayuga Elementary. But the State Board of Education didn't believe Pachulski's claims, ruling the district proved all 21 counts against him. It comes 13 months after he was placed on paid leave, earning more than $116,000 for sitting at home. And Pachulski did not respond to my request for comment. Besides these relationships, he's also accused of a couple bizarre incidents in which he embarrassed kids in the classroom, even bringing one fifth grade girl to tears. You can see all the district's charges against Pachulski on our website, WIVB.com. This is really amazing, Lou. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with a couple. Uh, are they changing any policies about the handling of money or anything because of this? And also, could there be criminal charges here? Well, actually, the superintendent told me they're not going to be changing policies because the policies actually work. That's how they caught him. There is still $1,000 missing from a field trip fund that he had access to. The district attorney knows about this, but Pachulski has still not been charged with a crime. No criminal charges yet. All right. Thank you, Lou.